Okay, let's take a look at the mysterious eraser tool in Inkscape. It's over on the left hand side on the menu down near the bottom. It's about fourth from the bottom. And when I click on it, you're just going to get this little eraser icon that pops up. And some people struggle to use this thing on a regular basis. So I'm going to do a quick walkthrough here on how this thing works. Now there's three modes at the top, okay? There's delete objects. If I click on the next one, you'll see a new little menu pops up. This one's called cut from paths and shapes. And then the third one is clip from objects. So I'm just going to click the first one, which is delete objects. Now I'm just going to draw a couple objects. So I'm going to click the shape button at the top and I'm just going to make some shapes here on the screen. And now I'm going to go to the eraser tool and with the first mode selected, delete objects touched by the eraser, I'm going to just drag through the object and it'll erase it. Drag through the object, it'll erase it. If I just hover over and click once, it won't do anything. I need to drag through the object and it will delete it. The second one is cut out paths and shapes. And when I click on that second mode in the top left, you're going to see there's a width, there's thinning, caps, tremor, and mass. And there's also this little break apart icon here as well. I have the width now is set to 40. So when I drag, you're going to see it's quite a large path that I have. And when I go really slow, it kind of looks like crinkly. And when I go relatively quickly, it makes the path look a bit better. So it's not, look, this is not a perfect tool, all right? So there it is. So when I drag through the object now, you can see it cuts it. Drag through the object and it cuts it. You do need to be relatively quick with it because it tends to, if you go slowly, it tends to be kind of like messy looking, even with the tremor down to zero. Now, if I increase the tremor, it'll really be crazy. So when I do that with the high tremor, you'll see it really cuts it. And that's kind of a neat effect if that's what you want to do. You just need to be aware that if you're cutting something, you may want to decrease the width down. So I'm just going to make another circle here, a nice big one. And I'm going to select the eraser tool and I'm going to make the width quite tiny, like let's say one. So now mine's, my line is very, very thin. So if you just wanted to cut this object, I would just simply draw a line through it and now it's cut. Now if I wanted to make this object really cut in two, because you see now it's like one still, then I would, I'll just undo that. I'll do control Z or control Z, depending on what country you're in. And I'm going to select the eraser tool. And now I'm going to select this little break, break apart cut items. So when I click on that and I cut the item, now it actually breaks it into two pieces. Let's take a look at deleting some text now. I'm going to click the text tool along the left hand side, draw a nice big box and I'm going to write the word text in big letters. Control A selects it. I'll change my font to 300 size and that makes it nice and big. Now I've got my text selected. It's not a vector. When I select edit paths by node and I select it, nothing's happening because it's text and it's actually an editable text field. I could actually type in more text if I want it. So how do I delete something with text? Well, I'll simply select the eraser tool now. I'll make sure my width is something here that's decent. I got 10, which is a nice wide swath there. And I'll simply drag through it. And we can see now it's deleted some black inside of the text. Now it doesn't separate it, even though I've had the little break apart icon selected, it doesn't do that. So this is still one piece of text. And when I select the colors, for example, it changes it all. So it's not truly separated, but it's still a decent tool though, if you want to draw a line and make some funky looking text. There's that third option as well with the eraser tool. The third one says clip from objects. And so when I drag the eraser tool now over one of the objects, it does delete it. And it works almost the exact same as the middle one, which is cut from paths and shapes. The difference though is that when you use this third one, it actually creates a clipping mask. I'm able to make this look like it's cut, but it's only hiding it. It's not actually erasing it. So if you're going to stay in Inkscape, this is fine. But if you are using these objects outside of Inkscape, you may find that these uh, erasing tools don't actually work. So you may want to just stick with the middle one. The middle one's typically the most popular one. That's the one where you erase actual lines inside of Inkscape. I do want to point out a quick 
error that sometimes happens. If you select an object, this is a bit of a frustration point. So now I've got the yellow circle selected. When I use my eraser tool and I scroll over the blue circle, nothing's happening. So if you're creating shapes and stuff, make sure that you don't have anything selected. And to unselect this, I'm just gonna select the little arrow key at the top and I'm just gonna click somewhere outside of all the shapes. Now I have nothing individually selected and now I can delete little paths inside of the circles. But if you select one, it'll only work on that one. It won't work on anything else because you have that one object selected. So make sure you've got nothing selected if you're gonna be running hog wild with the eraser tool all throughout Inkscape. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. Very, very quick tutorial, basic elements on how to use the eraser tool. Here's another video on how you can up your Inkscape tools and I wish you all the best in your graphic design journey. Thanks a lot for watching.